At Beyond Your Wildest Dreams, we say that planning makes everything better. You know, so often we go into life reacting to what's happening to us. And the, ch the challenge with when you're just re in reaction mode is that it forces you to focus on things that are urgent, but might not be important. Yes, there's a difference between important and urgent, and I'm going to talk about it on this topic-only portion of episode 75, where I'm going to help you come up with a plan for the holiday season so that you can focus on what's important and not what's urgent, starting now. Hi, Allegra here, and it is just me today because Natasha is being a mom, and sometimes being a mom means that other things have to fall by the wayside. So uh, hopefully we'll have her back next week. And this week's topic is coming up with a game plan for the holidays. Halloween is right around the corner. Probably there's been talk in your family about costumes and, you know, dressing up and trick-or-treating and maybe... For some of you are putting up ofrendas for Dia de los Muertos, which is right after Halloween. And so it's the beginning of, you know, the holiday season, all the different things that are happening at this time of year, no matter what it is that you are celebrating. And so as a parent, it can often feel like there are so many responsibilities that you have as the person who is making the magic for the holiday season, sometimes it can feel like you don't actually get to experience the holidays, the magic of the holidays yourself because you're so busy making them magical for other people. So that's what I'm going to talk about in a little bit, coming up with a game plan. And if you don't know, we actually wrote a book called Rock Your Holidays. And that's basically what I'm going to be talking about today is the Rock Your Holiday game plan. And my book, pushed back here they are here's our bouquet of workbooks so every book is a workbook and it's about it takes about 45 minutes to an hour to read it and so rock your holidays is the one three simple steps to having fun while getting things done so this is all about coming up with a holiday game plan so i'm going to talk about the basics of it at beyond your wildest dreams we say that planning makes everything better you know so often we go into life reacting to what's happening to us and the, ch the challenge with when you're just re in reaction mode is that it forces you to focus on things that are urgent, but might not be important. Okay, so let me just explain a little bit. We all have things that we want to do that we say that are important, whether it is eating well or exercise or spending time with friends or family or working on that business that you've been thinking about or that book that you've been wanting to write. You know, these are things that are important to you that, that affect your quality of life, that are aligned with your values in terms of the kind of life you want to live. However, things are always coming at us. People are asking us for their help, you know, whether it's, you know, the PTA or uh, local, local neighborhood government and politics you know, writing letters. I'm, I'm on many organizations. So I see all the asks, maybe you're part of a nonprofit. They have asks. Then they're all the asks that are related professionally. You know, this week I, so if you haven't listened to us before, besides BYWD, Natasha and I each have our own separate businesses and I write speeches and I coach individuals on delivering these speeches. And so this week I had a client who at the last minute needed many more hours from me than they usually use. And this is my business, right? So I, and this is, this person is a good client. So I wanted to accommodate them, but it pushed other things aside. Now that was there. The things they pushed aside weren't anything that was more important, if you will. However, we all get these last minute requests, other people, you know, perhaps they didn't plan appropriately and now their lack of planning is becoming your emergency. So we have all experienced that push-pull of what is urgent, and urgent by urgent, I mean time-sensitive, and what is important. And by important, I mean 
things that are actually going to move the needle in terms of your quality of life. So the holidays are something that come up every year. And, you know, here at BYEWD, we want to help you use planning to live the life you want to live. And we really believe that you can have that with planning. And there are some points in our year that repeat themselves over and over again. And especially if you are a mom or a dad, you are going to have to keep your eye on the holiday season, uh, summertime, and then the beginning of the school year, right? Like these are things where you kind of need a game plan to make, to keep your eye on the prize, right? It's like, what, how do I want my holidays to be? How do I want my summer to be? And how do I want my kid to start their school year? So those are the three touch points. A fourth touch point is the be the beginning of the year because, okay, the holidays are over, but and you might be thinking to yourself, oh my goodness, what do I want to accomplish for myself this year? Oh my gosh, Simona, hello. It's so funny. I just saw some people that we know in common. Okay, sorry, just responding to someone who I know is watching. Yes, just saw a bunch of friends from school. Anyway, <laughs> um, and we talked about you. We we thought about you. Okay, so uh, going back to these touch points. So the new year is when we really want to help people take advantage of what's called the fresh start effect, right? People get excited about new beginnings and new opportunities. So the new year, the beginning of the month, your birthday, maybe starting a new job or moving to a new place. These are all exciting because of this scientifically documented phenomenon called the fresh start effect. So we like to help people around the fresh start effect. And then we also like to help those of us with kiddos around summer and back to school and the holidays. And so we wrote this book called Rock Your Holidays. And it's all about coming up with a plan. And by the way, all of our books are workbooks. So we're not just talking to you about theory. We give you space to practice the thing that we mentioned. So the first step that we say for Rock Your Holidays is to take a moment and think about how you want this season to be. We call it the reason for the season. You know, take a moment. What's a word or phrase that captures your reason for the season? Feel free to write that down. Like if you have a pen and pencil in front of you, maybe something immediately comes to mind. Maybe you think, I want it to be peaceful. I want it to be calm. Maybe you think, uh, I want to see my friends and family. That's the most important thing. Maybe you think, I want to be as social as possible. I want to go to every possible thing I can go to. <laughs> so <clears throat> just take a moment and think about what you want your season to look like. And it can really be, you know, anything. You could say, I want to plan absolutely nothing this season and just be spontaneous. Okay, great. You know what your plan is. Go forth. You know, maybe you think, I want my holidays to be relaxing. Uh, for me personally, I kind of have a list of things that I like to do during the holidays, but I don't need to hit every single one of them every single holiday season. Like for instance, I do enjoy seeing a production of The Nutcracker. But we've done that so many times that I'm not going to do it this year. And that makes space for doing something else new. Oh my goodness. I just looked in the picture and I guess I forgot to put on my other earring. How funny is that? I'm just going to put on my other earring right now. All real life and live video. So whatever you decide, Think about how you want your season to be because that just really allows you to establish healthy boundaries. You know, so much of being able to focus on what's important and not what's urgent is by having boundaries. But you can't have a boundary without first deciding, oh, this is how I want it to be because that decision is what creates the boundary for you. For instance, if you say, I would like to go to one large party this year and that's it because that's all I feel like I have the bandwidth for this year. Or maybe you're not super social and you just say, 
one big party will fill my social minutes meter and I'm good. Then that's your boundary. And if you get three invitations, you've already decided. It's much easier to set the boundary beforehand because if you get those three, you might think, oh, well, I could do them all. And then you feel like you missed out on either some quiet time or some alone time, or you're t maybe you're tired. Maybe being that social is draining for you. So set the boundary beforehand rather than when the invitations start coming in, because that's when it's hard to, that's when you're reacting rather than being proactive. Okay. So it is October 10th today. This is a perfect, perfect time to think about your holidays. Think to yourself, what, what do you want this holiday season to be? Okay. Then once you have the holiday season, I want you to write down, do a brain dump. I want you to write down all the things that are going to be happening between now and whatever you consider the holiday season. If you celebrate uh, Dia de los Reyes, go ahead and go through January 6th. If you, you know, if you celebrate um, Nehru's, go ahead and go through to spring. It's up to you what you consider the holiday season, okay? Um, I am pretty much a Halloween to New Year's person. My family doesn't celebrate Dia de los Reyes. If you don't know my background, my mother is actually, my parents are both American, but my mother is of Chinese ethnicity. So we don't celebrate Dia de los Reyes. It was not actually, I don't think my father celebrated it either. So <laughs> there you go. So we, we kind of stop with the new year. So go, down, go ahead and write down all the holidays that you want to consider part of this holiday season, whatever that may be, and all of the things that you might want to do. So on my list is the Nutcracker, even though I'm not going to do it this year, okay? And then once you have that brain dump, and you can see my brain dump, it's pretty long. That's my brain dump for October to January. Okay. And it includes things that you might not consider holiday E, but tend to happen during this time of year. Like for instance, uh, I like to attend, I like to do a ski trip in January. So I consider that kind of part of the holiday season. I also, my, I do celebrate uh, Lunar New Year. So depending on what time of the year it is, sometimes that can be on the earliest side. And so I kind of include that in my planning. I also include a local parade that I love to attend during this time year, during this time of the year. So really everything's in here. And let's see, it includes things like, for instance, this is not an event, but it is one of the things that you might have to do if you want to send out holiday cards. You might want to do a holiday card photo shoot. Also, you need to order these holiday cards. So for instance, sending out holiday cards, if that's something that you like to do, you should put that on here as well. It's not an event, but it is something that happens. You know, other things could be work parties, uh, decorating. I like to do a Thanksgiving day hike. So that's on here. Uh, so all of these things that you like to do, just complete brain dump. Don't think just right. And it's interesting because I have been doing holiday cards frequently for the many years. And for some reason, I'm not sure I'm going to do holiday cards this year. It's just not feeling like something that is super important to me. So even though you have this list, things can change. And that's totally okay. Because guess what? This is your holiday season. No one else's. Do what you want to do. Obviously, there are other people who have a say in this your immediate family, your extended family. So there might be some negotiation there. I get it. I get the negotiation. But just start thinking about what you want to do. And if there's, you know, something that you don't want to do, see if your family, see how your family feels about it. Maybe you're all on the same page. Okay. So the next step is to prioritize the brain dump that you just did. And what that means is going down and taking the brain dump and just writing the numbers one, two, or three next to it. And one is, I would never miss this event. Two is, I'd love to make this happen. 
And three is fun, but if we skip it, it's no big deal. And again, these numbers are going to change from year to year. But for this year, go ahead and rate them one, two, and three. Okay. And then final, the final step is to then start calendaring the things that you have to do. And by the way, there is one bonus tip in here, but it's it's a little difficult to explain without looking at this book. So for that bonus step, you're going to have to get the ebook or the physical book. But the second, the final step is to start calendaring the things, starting with the number ones, right? So that's the beauty of prioritizing things is you've decided what's important to you, you've ranked them, and now you're going to start putting them in. So start popping the number ones into your calendar. And, you know, start with October, pop those into your calendar. And if you look at your October and you think, wow, this, these are a lot of, this is a lot of things, feel free to do away with one. That's the beauty of planning in advance is that you get to think to yourself, what's the right mix of things to do? And you get to say, you know what? That's just enough or that's too much. Or actually I could, I have more capacity. I could do a little bit more. When you don't think, when you just react to people's invitations, that's what leads to burnout because you're not looking at the big picture. So this allows you to look at the macro picture and say to yourself, yes, I have enough energy for this or no, I don't have enough energy for this. Okay, so go through and put in all your number ones. And if it looks like that's full enough, then don't add anything else. If it looks like you have more capacity, then go on to your twos and threes. And that is how you come up with a holiday game plan so that you can be proactive rather than reactive. Now, I will add one little bonus tip is feel free to adjust your plan as you go. You know, we're starting on October 10th. This is kind of a high scale, you know, a macro view plan for the whole season. You can decide in November, you know what? I feel like doing more or I feel like doing less. That's fine. Tweak as much as you want to tweak. This is your plan. It's here to serve you. But having a plan to begin with is going to save you so much time and energy because you'll have already gone through the thought, thought process of what do I actually want my holidays to look like? And then you can make decisions based on that. And you can decide yes or no to that party or event because it does or doesn't support your vision for the holidays. Thank you so much for joining me this week. Uh, hopefully Natasha will be back next week. You know how it is when you're a mom, you have to prioritize your family, but it's been a pleasure to have you with me. And if you want to get the ebook or the $7.99 price, that you see popped up on the screen here. That is for the paperback, but the ebook I believe is $3.99. Sometimes there are specials that we're not told about that get run, but that's my understanding. And then again, if you wanna to go to tinyurl.com slash my Amazon picks, you can see I have a whole list there of the supplements that I've been taking and the other tools that I've been using to help me through this period of perimenopause. Thank you so much for joining. I'll see you next week. Dream, Dream wild, 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 wild dreamer. Dreamers. Thanks for joining us for the Harness the Power of Planning podcast. Be sure to like and subscribe wherever you listen.